I am afraid for any Africans to become a slave to white peoples again. How many people do white people kill in the hospital here? We the migrants. Let me take an example from myself. I am a migrant who came through boats, through Libya to come to Europe. But how many, how many, how many of my fellow migrants they kill? Do you think all the boats that have accident in this Libyan sea, do you think is, is, is by God? White people are killing them in the sea. They kill many peoples because they said we are too much in Europe. And when they are killing Mohammed Gaddafi, they didn't know that migration will start. When they kill Mohammed Gaddafi, the road will open for Africa to enter to Europe. They didn't know. When they are killing Mohammed Gaddafi, they think like they are killing Mohammed Gaddafi and everything will be good, nothing will be bad. No. You kill Mohammed Gaddafi, you people killed Mohammed Gaddafi and the border is open for us to come to you peoples. Whatever you steal from Africa, we will steal it back and take it back to Africa. Always know that. I will not be afraid to say this. Whatever you have, you people have stolen from Africa, we have come for it and we will take it by force. By force. Either you like it, you don't like it, we will take it. If you like, let us work for you people like slaves. But whatever you steal from Africa, we will take it back. We will. Racism. Black peoples in Europe are facing racism. 100% of racism. And they said, uh, Europe dies human right. I don't want to hear this word that Europe dies human right. Human right is standing for white peoples in Europe, not we the black. If you are a black man in Europe or in America or in UK, don't think human right is standing for you. You are a black man. There is no human right for you in white man country. Human right is for only white peoples. Because white people think that we the black people, we are foolish. We are illiterate. White man, white man like Boris Johnson, UK Prime Minister, they will be racist forever. And even their children will be racist forever. Because they, they teach their children how to be racist. They tell their children the stories, lies. They teach their children in the school lies story about we the Africans. They make their children to be afraid of us, not to talk to us. They tell their children that we are criminals. We are full of sickness. We came through this way. We came from Africa with sickness. We are not good. We are not clean. We are not clean, but you steal from us. We are not clean, but they are still surviving by us. We are not clean. We are sick. We are criminals. But if we don't work for you, you and your family cannot eat. You said we are not clean. We are sick. That's what you tell your children. Fuck. When you go to supermarket, if you see any tomato, there are black people work with it. And you said you are racist, then don't eat tomato because black people touch it with their hand and the black people are the one cultivating that tomato. If you go to the supermarket, if you see salad or, or any vegetables things, black people are the one cultivating it in Europe here. So if you are racist, you don't like black, don't touch it. Don't eat vegetables in Europe because every vegetable in Europe here is cultivated by black man, by we really black immigrants. But you are racist, you say you don't like black people. You say black people are sick. What the hell do you think you are doing? But you are still going to supermarket to buy tomato. To buy po uh, 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 potatoes. To buy salad. To buy other vegetables. Who work it? Who cultivate it? European youths are working on the street. Faking themselves that they are going to school. They are not learning. They are not working. We are working for them. Let me tell you this, my fellow Africans. We the black immigrants living in Europe. We are working for these Europeans and their children's future. We are working for them. When you work normally, how many hours do you work in a day? Do you know how much this will pay you? If you work eight hours in a day, almost... You're supposed to have like 150 euro a day. But how much are they paying you? 35 euro. 30 euro. And you work 8 hours. 
So what, where the rest of your payment is going? To their government, to prepare a good future for their children. That's why their children are becoming useless. They are not having, even going to school. They didn't even don't want to learn because they are having money. We are working for them. So we are slaves. We are slaves. Do we want our children to come and become slaves again? I will never bring my children to Europe. Even if I have child in Europe, I will take him back to Africa. My child will never be in Europe. I will not be a slave to these dummy peoples. And my children will become and be a slave to these dummy peoples. Why? And if UK, UK Prime Minister is coming out and telling people that uh, he, he want to take people to Rwanda, I don't blame him because he is racist and his children are racist, his family is racist and they will never be stop this racism because it's in their blood. I don't blame them. I blame African leaders. African leaders who should support their peoples, who should abandon this standing with white peoples. Why? Why are you abandoning your own people, African leaders? Why are you abandoning African peoples and standing with white peoples? You have become dictator to your peoples, become criminal to your peoples, stealing your people's budget. But you become slave and call to Europeans. When you see them, you bend down for them and greet them. Why are you bending down for them? They are surviving by you. Stand strong. Let them bend down for you and greet you. White people should bend down. White prime ministers, European prime ministers, UK prime minister, American president, China president should bow down for African leaders because they are all surviving by Africa. But why African leaders, they are still bowing bow down for, for, for all these leaders? While these leaders are the ones who bow down for African leaders. But because of their stupidity, these leaders are standing and they will come and bow down for them and greet them. That is stupidity. Do you think I will become a leader in Africa and bow down for any damn bloody white prime minister or president? You will bow down for me. You will bow down for me. Come on. We don't have to teach our African leaders what to do. Why can't they stop greediness, selfishness? This life is too short.